Good evening and welcome to the Team Idris channel. Uh, yesterday the MIG welder stopped working so the bottom half boxy bit is going to be the sort of carriage trolley for the new one and here is the old one so let's have a quick run through of uh, what we've got here. So UK brown and blue come in here so blues uh, neutral browns positive but that's kind of irrelevant once you get into here because the first thing that comes through is this contactor block. Now some wires come, uh, I say actually it's a, a relay might be a better word for it. So some wires come out the back and they feed things like the on off switch which then feeds this uh, transformer which I think might be 12 volt or 24 volt. Uh, might be 12 I think it said. Very often these are 24. And that works things like this uh, drill motor down here, which works the wire speed. That's a pretty standard motor. It's got a bit of a fan on the back. Nothing too fancy. So those wires are going to work the fan at the bottom, uh, keep this powered up, keep the speed powered up. And uh, I believe the solenoid on the back is also working off that circuit rather than the 240 volt. So let's work backwards from the lance. So power comes all the way through the lance, all the way in through the back here with the, the cable feed being on the other side. So this wire comes down here into this transformer. Now that could be a transformer or a choke. Um, I'm tempted to say it's more of a choke to be honest because it's only got one single winding. So its purpose as the electricity is uh, oscillating 50 times a second um, 60 in America this device is sort of flattening the electricity out so it's to make it from sort of AC all going one way to much more of a DC so yeah I think they call it a choke and it, it just flattens out the electricity to stop the peak so it's more like being connected to a big battery big lead acid battery rather than the main supply so the power comes out of there or is going into there and that's connected to this weird plate device here. So I'll bend him in a bit more. You can see he's got rows of, rows of diodes in there so the output is here this plate and that plate. So I think this plate was the one going to the lance and that's the one going to the ground cable, the one with the uh, clamp on it. So these diodes here are taking an AC input here on these two yellow wires. So they came, come in and they get turned into DC and the DC goes out through this wire and out to the lance and out eventually to the 0.8mm wire that I run which then explodes with the heat and sticks to the metal. And that comes back to this piece. This is like your main welding transformer. It's got a little bit of a protection thing on heat, of a heat on here, so if it gets too hot, it trips out. It's made of lots and lots of thin plates of steel. The idea is that magnetism can flow through them, electricity can't. It's an efficiency thing for the actual transformer rather than manufacturing. And it just bolts to the bottom of the machine on four bolts. So two wires coming out, so that's one of its windings. On the other side, you can see there's quite a few wires coming in and that's because it's a, a multi-turn transformer and that's to do with this selector switch here so electricity when you pull the actual trigger on the gun the electricity is flowing up in through the mains wires 240 volts coming out through these two green wires like I say makes no difference on AC because it goes positive negative positive negative 50 times a second so the fact that they're both green you know um, if you touch both of them at once it'll mess you up. So it goes into this six position switch here which just uh, just sticks out of the front of the machine out through the front of this plate and that selects which of these wires are connected to these wires down here. So this is like your main transformer that actually turns 240 volts into like 24 volts, 30 volts, 40 volts so it goes from 13 amps coming in to 180 amps coming out so why is it in a million bits? Well, 
I bypassed this part, which would physically turn it into um, an AC welder from a DC welder. And I was getting exactly the same fault, is that the wire would just suddenly glow a bit, it wouldn't spark, and then it would uh, cease function completely. So I would tend to think the problem is in this transformer here, this one, this basically the heart of the machine, is that there's a broken uh, wire in there somewhere. So these wires are smaller than these because these are high amps, these are only sort of 13 amps or whichever way up they are. And as soon as it sees any load, it's like something thermally moves, disconnects and you don't get any spark anymore. So what else we've got in there? So there's a basic on off switch, uh, a warning light and this panel here is completely separate to this lot in that it is the wire speed. So the power that's going all the while comes in through here uh, actually they're going the other way, they're the triggers. So when you pull the, the switch which is these two wires here that makes a connection, operates this relay, and it's calling for power through this, through the, the, the low voltage, and that turns on the solenoid and starts the little winder motor going. And it also somewhere, I think, yeah, as soon as you press the switch, you've got power to that, power to that. This uh, contactor relay drops in, and that gives you power to that transformer, out through that, out through the DC regulator, out through the choke, out, out to the lance, round, and then all the way back in and back to this uh, from the earth line. So yeah, let's see if we just could do a quick, quick rerun over it. So that's a picture of it when it was going. If I just get that up. That's what it looked like when it was brand new in the mid nineties. Uh, power comes in through the plug, in through here, into that relay, um, bypasses it, powers everything that it needs to do when you haven't pressed the switch. As soon as you press the switch on the trigger, that drops down, relay, uh, the electric valve there goes clunk, gas comes in all the way down to the lance, um, that starts spinning at whatever speed you've set on there, uh, that then clunks in, feeds power to this switch, this switch then sends whatever power rating you've selected down to this transformer, out through that, turns AC into DC with this big old diode pack here, and they're all welded in there to dissipate the heat. The fan's going as soon as you turn it on to keep everything cool, out through the choke, makes the circuit. So yeah, that's an oldie worldy sort of MIG welder. Now they're all switch mode and most of this stuff is just gone, it's just not in there anymore. Anyway, thanks for watching, speak to you next time.